Dropbox uh, is a fantastic way of transferring uh, documents, images, videos from your iPad to your Mac or your PC or from your iPad to uh, another device. I'm very quickly going to show you um, the very basics of this. I'm going to take it for granted that you've already got a Dropbox account um, and what you need as well as that is the Dropbox app down here. Now once you've got the Dropbox app it will ask you to sign in using your credentials which um, I don't need to go through now with you. So let's say you have created a keynote presentation on your iPad. You would like to um, transfer that very quickly and very easily to um, your computer. But you want to transfer it as a um, perhaps as a PDF or a PowerPoint. So I'm going to open my Keynote app down here, and as you can see, I've got all the presentations. I would like to transfer this app here, the Blooms app, to Dropbox, so I can access it from um, from my computer. Uh, right, so I'm going to click Edit over in the top right hand corner. Select what I'd like, and there's a little arrow that you'll see a lot around these apps. Click on that, and it'll ask me to open this presentation in another app. So I'm going to click on that, and I've got some options. I can um, open it. I can open another app as a keynote, as a PDF, or as a PowerPoint. Now I'm going to go for a PowerPoint. So I'm going to select PowerPoint down the bottom. It's going to select that, and then I can click Choose App. Now, I obviously want to choose, you can open it in any of these apps, I'm going to choose Dropbox. There we go, it's going to open Dropbox, and here we go, it's asked me to, to save it. Down here is a name, I can choose to change the name if I want. And I can also select a destination. So if I click on the Dropbox at the top, I can see all the folders that are available in my Dropbox. Now this is a new Dropbox, so I've only got a few folders. I actually would like another folder called Presentations. I want to save it in there. So click Create Folder down the bottom, Presentations, and click Create. And if I click Choose, Save, oh, Save, and now it's going to save that presentation as a PowerPoint to Dropbox. And of course, I could have done the same with a in PDF or in a keynote format. There we go. So if I click on Dropbox down at the bottom, there's my presentations folder with my Blooms PowerPoint already in there. I mentioned earlier that you can um, upload photos and videos to it. That is true. Unfortunately, not all Apple apps specifically, like the like GarageBand and iMovie, don't have an open in function for um, to, to save things to Dropbox. So what you might find you have to do is if I open iMovie, is I've got this video here of a geography field trip. What I can do is using that arrow at the bottom, click on that, and it'll open up with a few options. Now, for some reason, my iPad's being very slow. Here we go. There is no open in option. There is a camera roll option. So I can choose camera roll and then I can export to my camera roll, which is you know, my, your photos basically, as any of these um, four options. Now I've got an iPad 3 here, but if you've got an iPad 2, it will only let you do up to HD. So I could choose one of those, it'll export it, and I can find it in my camera roll, which I'm going to quickly look at now, which I've already done to save a bit of time. So photos at the bottom, video demo here, and this, which is going to open full screen annoyingly, is video. So let's stop that, um, because you don't want to see the whole thing. In the interest of time, I'm actually only going to upload this video here. So you're thinking, how am I going to get that onto Dropbox? Well, go to your Dropbox app, Really, really straightforward. At the bottom, there is an upload option, and that is, um, you know, great for uploading 
videos and images. And I click plus at the top, and I can choose images I can upload if I wanted to, or my videos. Now what I'm going to do in the interest of time is just to upload this video here. So choose a destination. Um, I've already got, um, or oh, I haven't, there we go. So I want to create a folder called video. Click create. Choose that. And then I can upload that video into that folder on Dropbox. Upload. Might take a little bit of time. The bigger the video, the bigger it's going to be. There we go. I've just done that. Click on downloads. There's my new video folder with the video. Great stuff. There are lots and lots of apps that will allow you to do that. Things like uh, apps like Explain, um, Explain Everything do the same thing. Uh, there's a, the Poster app. There are all sorts of different apps that have this ability. It's um, well, it's fantastic, basically. Um, without the, the the ability to save, transfer open files into Dropbox, um, its use and the iPad's use in education and elsewhere would be it would be severely limited. You can also link other apps. Um, for instance, I'm just gonna give you an example of uh, readable docs. For instance, I can link my Dropbox to that, so I can access um, my Dropbox account through that app. What I am going to show you very briefly is another thing here, and that is the ability to um, save email attachments um, to Dropbox as well. So this is an email I've sent myself, which is my IT curriculum. I'm going to select that. There it is. Again, click on the arrow in the top right-hand corner, open in Dropbox, and I can then choose my destination at the bottom. I've already got a PDF folder, so I'm going to choose that and save. Apparently, I've already got one in there. That's fine. I'm going to overwrite it, and that will there we go. That will shoot over to that. So there you have it. What I would say is make sure that you've got a Dropbox account, you've got the app, and um, workflow is much improved. Now I'm going to quickly try and show you um, a demo um, of Dropbox on my phone. If this works. There we go. So I have synced my iPhone 5 to my Dropbox account and everything that I have just done in that demonstration is now available on my phone to access. And even better, it's on my PC as well. Um, in fact, my Mac. And I'm going to quickly show you that now. There we go. So these um, folders, this video folder and this presentations folder, didn't exist before this presentation, and there we go. So quick, easy, sorted. I'm going to do another video about how that can work with students and multiple users, um, but at the moment I just wanted to do the very basics. Uh, I hope that was useful. Dropbox, um, which I forgot to say before, is also very useful for getting files, you know, images, documents, what have you, from your uh, Mac or PC to your, your iPad, so the other way around. So what I've done is on Dropbox, here's what I took from my iPad to Dropbox. I've actually just uploaded to Dropbox um, an assembly PowerPoint here. Assembly useful websites. If I then look at my Dropbox apps, Dropbox app, I can click on presentations, and here it is. Assembly useful websites. Let's click on that. And 
we have a number of options at the top here. If I click on the arrow, I can email, Facebook message, post to Facebook, tweet, copy to clipboard, or even more useful, in the top right, again, I can choose to open it into a certain document. So I can open in Keynote, for instance, or any of these. So if I open in Keynote, there we go, it will automatically convert my PowerPoint to a keynote presentation, and there we go. So it works both ways. The same can be said for, for images too, and, and a number of other documents.